So is getting below 10% body fat worth it? If you're not a competitor, is the extra effort to get as lean as 6% body fat or 8% body fat really worth it if you're not a fitness model, if you're not someone who's planning to step on stage? And in this video, I wanna answer this question. I wanna give you some pros and cons of going below 10% body fat as someone who's a fitness entrepreneur. I'm not a competitor, I'm a natural athlete. I love fitness, I'm very passionate about it. I help people every day reach their fitness goal. That's my entire life, that's my business, that's everything I do, but I'm not a professional fitness model. And I wanna give you my perspective and some expectations you might not really know about, about getting below 10% body fat. And by the way, if it's your first time on this channel, if you're new around here, consider subscribing below. If you also like to learn more about fitness, nutrition, how to make this a lifestyle, also consider hitting that bell icon to enable notifications for future videos so you know when those come out. And now let's dive into it. So the first thing you need to know about getting below 10% body fat is how that actually looks like. Because a lot of people on social media nowadays posting that they're four or 5% body fat, while in reality they're closer to 10% body fat. And if you want real examples of how four to 6% body fat looks like, you can look at natural bodybuilders, physique competitors, natural ones that have put in the effort to get that lean, there's no body fat left. I mean, they're completely peeled and shredded and they don't maintain that state all year round. They can only be lean for the stage and they finish their competitions and then they go back up in body weight because it's completely unsustainable as a natural lifter to look like that and to be in that state. And you're looking at menstruated glutes, there's no body fat left on the stomach, basically completely shredded. And so when someone is claiming that they're four or 5% body fat and all three numbers and doing these types of things to actually show that they're much leaner than they are, they're probably closer to 10% body fat. So I wanna point this out because it's important to know what to aim for. As someone who's a natural lifter, I've been down to six to 8% body fat. Also, I wanna point out that it doesn't really feel that good. I mean, even at that level, it doesn't feel like good. I can only imagine how it feels as someone who is a competitor, someone who's really pushing it down to, let's say, 5% body fat. So for me, I know that when I got that lean for the first time, I felt like garbage. I definitely didn't feel like I optimized my health at all. I was super weak in the gym. My immune system suffered. I was definitely getting sick and I was not feeling well in general. You just feel very lethargic, low energy, you feel cold, um, my libido wasn't there. So a lot of these negative effects that really happen when you get that lean as a natural lifter. And that's important to point out as a natural lifter because you can do all kinds of stuff if you're you know, taking different types of supplements or you know, what knows what people are taking. But really it's important to point out as a natural lifter, this is not really the most maintainable state. And of course, genetically, you may vary. Some people might find it a bit easier than others, but generally, you wanna stay around 10% body fat if you're looking for something more maintainable and something more sustainable. So really, as far as the negatives, I feel like there's a lot of negatives. I mean, there's a huge list of negatives in terms of how you feel and what type of progress you can make in the gym because you're not gonna make that much progress being like super shredded six to 8% body fat. I mean, it's very, uh, kind of feeling very weak and you're not able to overload as much. And also the other thing that's happening is that because you don't have that energy and that focus, it's starting to affect other areas of your life and you're becoming more food obsessed, which also affects how you deal with in social situations. So overall, it's not a really sustainable state. I mean, you look shredded, I mean, you look fantastic. Don't get me wrong, I mean, that looks amazing, but it is not something that's sustainable. Now that I feel like I might've discouraged you a little bit from getting below 10% body fat, I also wanna share some benefits and some things that I personally experienced. So me, the biggest reason why I decided to push myself wasn't the appearance. It wasn't that I wanted to get more shredded. It was really the mental side of things. It was really the mental benefits of me exercising my discipline, of me feeling like in control, of me getting outside of my comfort zone. Because when I got to 10% body fat and I feel like I mastered staying between 10 and 12% body fat, I really wanted that challenge. I wanted to see how far I can push it and I wanted to get there for the first time in my life. I wanted to see, at least for once, how that looks like. And I feel like that's really the benefit. Once you master staying at 10 to 12% body fat and you feel like that is your new default and you can do that, you have all the skills, you have all the habits, now, you might want another challenge. And that next challenge is eight or 6% body fat. So I would recommend if you're someone who's at 10 to 12% body fat looking for a challenge and if you really want to push yourself mentally and you, if you're at a stage in your life where you can do that, you can consider going leaner and at least for some period of time just to see how that's gonna look for you if you like that challenge. That would be the main benefit. Of course, the appearance itself, you do look great. You start seeing your body in a completely different light. You start seeing 
all the gains you made over the years, you start seeing different weak points to work on next time as you go into a gaining phase. So there's a lot of these little benefits, but I feel like in terms of how you feel in general and your energy levels and everything I talked about in terms of negatives, it's really hard to say that you should get there and that everybody has to get there. I think this is really reserved for people that have a lot of experience. If you're someone who's done this for five, six years and if you've kind of already mastered your physique somewhat, then it's worth trying it out. But if you're someone who's just starting out, if you're brand new to the fitness journey, I really think it's better if you focus on 10 to 12% body fat, get there, master that, build the habits, make this a lifestyle, make this a permanent identity change. Think of yourself as an athlete, really instill those new habits and beliefs, and then you can consider getting below 10% body fat. So is it worth it? Maybe for you in this situation, it could be worth it. I would definitely urge you to explore it if you're someone who likes to challenge themselves and you really want to push yourself, maybe get down to 8%, just a little bit further than you normally go. So it's something to worth considering. Other than I think for most people where you're going to feel the best is around 12-ish or so percent body fat. It's very maintainable. You look great. You feel great. And that's really where you want to be most of the year so you can work on areas of your life as well once you master the fitness area of your life. Because at the end of the day, it's not all about fitness. It's not all about gym and what happens there. It's also about other areas of your life and becoming the best version of yourself. And now if you want to get to 10% body fat, if you've never been there, I'm going to leave a video here at the end that you can check out. It's going to really help you out to give you a lot of new strategies to try out. Other than that, if you want to work with me as your mentor and as your coach on that journey to 10% body fat to help you and guide you on the process, I'm going to leave a link in the description below where you can find more details about that. Other than that, I will see you in that next video.